I really gotta go, bros. <laughs> and I really need to pound some face. <sighs> I feel like a caged tiger, bros. And you do not cage a tiger. <laughs> Relax, bros. Almost got it. Just enjoy this quality burrow time. Definitely. Yeah, you're right. Uh, oh, okay. So, uh, what's up with you and Starfire? Ah, uh, you know, I'm playing it cool, taking it slow. Girl, touch my upper arm six times this week. Here, 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 and here. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> basically, we're pretty much dating. Man, how do you do it? You are so cool. Booyah! Going down in three, two, one. <laughs> What was that? I think you accidentally set off the security system I installed. Well, this might take a little longer than I thought. Oh. <laughs> um, any word from your friends? I'm sure they'll be here soon. I have always wondered, how did you get the name Dr. Light? Oh, I couldn't tell. It's it's too embarrassing. Dang. Oh, well. Oh, the prettiest of pleases! Well, you see, my real name is Arthur. And when I was a child, I used to do this trick from my mummy that would light up her day. Oh, you must show us the trick. Promise not to laugh? I give you the swear of my pinky. And I don't laugh. Very well, then. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. This has been years. No. Pull my finger. Ah, uh, we know this trick. We live with Beast Boy. Just trust me. Oh, the trick is adorable! Amazing. Are you girls hungry? I could eat. Oh, oh, I can't do it. Can't hold it much longer. whole world of crime out there. Here I am, stuck in an elevator. I'll bet Batman's never been stuck in an elevator. You got it fixed yet, bro? Would have been if you hadn't installed all that stupid security junk, bro. Yeah? Well, I think you just don't know how to fix it, bro. Is that a fact? That is a fact, Jack. I'm not your Jack, bro. And I'm not your bro, Jack. Ah, that's it. I can't hold it another second. I'm just gonna go. I'm going. Not here. Not here. Here and now, bro. Don't do it. It's happening. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Come on, hold it in. Too late, bro. Mm. Uh, oh. Mm. Ah. Lift me, Boreas. Let your wintry breath keep me aloft. Prince! Co-captains this year. What? Absolutely not. Okay. Congratulations, Prince. You're the new team captain. <laughs> nice job, Barbie. Not too often you see 100% in AP calculus. Is what I'd be saying if it weren't for Diana over here. 102%. Incredible. That's a new school record. <sighs> Barbie, we're gonna stay and help Diana decorate for the dance. Join us. There will be camaraderie and merriment. Diana's the best at merriment. And she's totally gonna show us her dance moves. And she's bringing a bro. Oh my gosh, Diana's so great. And she's singing so much fun. Oh my gosh, Diana's is the best. So much fun, you're so your teeth.
brushes. There are brushes for our tooths? Beats me. I didn't know teeth had hair on them until just now. Teeth do not have hair! Brushing your teeth is the cornerstone of good oral hygiene. Good? Good? Oral hygiene was the greatest pitcher in baseball history. Nicknamed the Bulldog, oral hygiene was known for his sight frame and fierce competitive spirit. A Cy Young Award winner, three-time All-Star, World Series champion and MVP, he holds the record for 59 consecutive scoreless innings pitch. And you say he was just good! Not that oral hygiene cyborg. The kind in here. <laughs> Look at this, Titans. Yeah. It's a mess. Oh, saving a little snack for later? <laughs> May I? Mmm, uh. delicious. <laughs> I do love broccoli. But not between your teeth! Disgusting. <laughs> what do we have here? Ow, 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 stop it! Your tooth has a cavity. It needs to be removed. Dude, you gotta pop that toothy tooth out of your face so you can get some of that good money from the tooth fairy. I'm not trading my tooth for a couple dirty nickels. Bro, didn't you hear? The tooth fairy's got that paper money now. Paper money? She can have all my teeth. The tooth fairy? I don't know. Anyone who sneaks into your room at night and collects teeth is a creep. I always thought the fairy of tooths was sweet. Uh, of course you did. She collects teeth, Starfire. Think about it. What is she even doing with all these teeth? Mm, normal things, like uh, wearing them as jewelry. <laughs> Ew. Maybe she doesn't have her own teeth and is just trying to find some that fit in her mouth. That's even worse. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Eternity has helped me make some big plans. And for those plans to work, I need there to be a distinct lack of superheroes in Metropolis. So you're gonna try and capture all the heroes in town? Psst. Gonna? Try? <laughs> Please. <gasps> hey! What's up, you guys? <laughs> I mean, oh no, Lex got Superman. Shut up, doofus. The son of Jorel has to the count of ten to kneel before me. One. Oh, no! Two. Supergirl, can't you just call your cousin or something? Okay, okay, fine. It's ringing. He never picks up. He... Hi, Cal! Cal, listen, you have to come home stat! Zod is back! Yeah, but the last time I was joking, and this time it's totally real! He's literally standing right in front of me! Cal, hello? Cal? Hello? Uh, bad connection? Hey! 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 Huh? What? Supergirl? What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in school or something? Uh, it's Saturday, and what I'm doing here is telling you to back off! Back off? <laughs> I don't follow. I've been working my butt off for days trying to save people in Metropolis, but every time I do something to prove I'm a hero, there you are! Being a hero? Yes! I'm, I mean, no... Yeah, I'm, I mean... Listen, cuz, if I've told you once, I've told you a million times. Being a real hero takes time and experience. Experience I have as an adult. Adult? You were super boy like last summer. It was two summers ago, and that's beside the point. Accept it. You're just not ready. Come on, guys. We're awesome heroes, and we should be happy with our powers. Well, he's not. 
I would take any other hero's superpowers in a second. Seriously, there are a lot of heroes with stupid powers, you know. Anything is better than nothing. Raven, you can use your magical spells to give us the powers of the other superheroes. Yes, I can. But if I do this, be warned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful what you wish for. We know. Just give us them powers, Mama. Okay. Azeroth Metreon. <laughs> 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 Um, did it work? We look exactly the same. You didn't ask for new costumes, just new powers. So whose superpowers did I get? I've given you Aqualad's powers. You can breathe underwater and talk to fish. Oh man, that sounds boring. Try it and see. Ah! What up, fish? My name is Jose. Cool, man. That fish has no personality, man. How am I gonna... <gasps> Kills? Ah! Bathtub! Gotta get to a bathtub! Ah! What about me? I can fly, right? I gave you vibes powers. You can create shockwaves by breakdancing. That's whack! I was already a freaking fresh breakdancer! Nah, no, no, not so much. No. <laughs> oh, look at this one! Oh, I can... ah! Uh, something's up with my dome, Mama. It's got all these thoughts and feelings in it. That's because I gave you Saturn Girl's powers. Ah, man! You just give me the power of thinking? Everyone knows the superhero with feelings powers is always sensing a trap. It's not fun anymore! Can I at least control people's minds? Nope. Just thinking and feeling. No! <laughs> Why? Why are my limbs doing the wiggles? You've got Plastic Man's powers. Ooh, the stretchy! Stupid powers. Not me. I got Superman's powers. Yeah. What? Yeah. Not fair. Man, that's the opposite of stupid. Here's the teams. Diana Prince and Karen Beecher. <laughs> Hal Jordan and Selena Kyle. Hey. Barbara Gordon and Garth. Do you even have a last name? <gasps> Z Zatara and Oliver Queen. <gasps> Katsu Yamashiro and Leslie Willis. <laughs> Jessica Cruz and Pam Isley. Carter Hall and Barry Allen. <gasps> Carol Ferris and Doris Zuehl. And since Doris is skipping as usual, Carol, looks like you're once again destined to be alone. <laughs> mm-hmm. Last and actually kind of least, Harleen Quinzel. Wait, what? And Cara Danvers. Huh? We good? Good. Man, this is so great. We're gonna get A's for sure. I've been working on 3D printed packing peanuts that are 250% more shock absorbent. And I have raised griffins from eggs since I was 170. <laughs> we got this in the... crud. At last, my chance to surpass Diana Princess Valedictorian is at hand. We'll put her there, partner. Isn't this exciting? We're going to spend the whole weekend together hanging out, taking care of our egg. Wait, where's our egg? <sighs> this is super cool, right? Like, you're Hawkman. And that means you know all about eggs and birds and stuff, so all you gotta do is keep sitting on that egg till Monday. Boom, instant A. Bad call? Bad call. Yeah, we gotta switch partners, dude. Mr. Dude. I can't work with her. She's got emotional problems. Let me be with Carol instead. Nope. Carol is alone. I'm not alone! Listen, you two. You're both one F away from summer school. So you either spend the next two days together, or you spend the next three months together. Got it? Uh... Once every 300 years, all major food groups align in the cosmos. Taco, burger, hot dog, pizza. 
all coming together as one to form El Vernigato Submarine! Oh, my human belly. Huh, maybe we overdid it just a little. What was that? That's the Vernigato. Oh. <laughs> hey, Beastie, can you come in here for a second? <laughs> Why? You need help? <laughs> ah, what are you doing with your feet in there? It's been a while since I've used one of these, okay? First day, fleshy guy. Isn't being a human awesome? Why is it so hard to move my body? Cause you're tired, dude. Happens to all of us. You just need to recharge your batteries. That I can do. <laughs> I can see where you might have misunderstood me there. Good morning, the flesh guy. Ah, you decided to sleep in, huh? Sleep in? I barely slept at all. This human body just keeps sloshing around and making weird noises. Today, I just want to relax and read comic books. Ow, what happened? That is a cut of the paper. It happens to those of us without metal hands. Well, I don't like it. <laughs> ah! Gotta watch those toes, bro. What is wrong with your weird soft bodies? I can't take this anymore! I, I can't... I <laughs> Poor the fleshy guy. I feel sad about his sad. Maybe I should go check on him. No, this is a real boy problem. It should be handled by a real boy. <laughs> oh, where's my leg? I just... <laughs> it, won't, it won't go on my other leg. I just... <laughs> Why is it? I just... Oh, I just... <laughs> oh my back is <laughs> Hey, is there a real boy in here that needs cheering up? Hey, hey, fleshy guy. Being a human boy isn't that bad, you know? Are you kidding? It's horrible. I can't imagine anybody living a single day like this. Oh, right. Sorry. Sure, we humans can't fly or lift cars or reach the top shelf without a stepladder. I can reach it just fine. You're short. Hmm. There are plenty of really awesome things about being human. So go back to being a robot if you want. But first, let me take you on a real boy adventure. Real boy adventure! That sounds weird. Really? I don't think so. You can wear sleep, pocket protect a real boy. Walk through a metal detector, real boy. You can write your name in snow, real boy. Let your fingernails grow, real boy. I'm a boy, a really real boy. I'm a boy, a really cool boy. I'm a boy, a really real boy. I'm a boy, a real cool boy. You can catch an awesome tan, real boy. Play in the big belly band, real boy. You can dance all night in the rain, real boy. I never knew what I was missing as a robot. Guess I don't need these anymore. 